Have you been running from the command line? Good morning, everyone. This is marketalchemist.camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. Today is a quick tip on running from the command line, or running Elixir from the command line. So you can see we've got a mixed project here with a bunch of files in it. And we're going to start by running a really simple function in this YStream module, which is from one of the earlier videos I did on this channel. We've got a time to do stream function that just runs a task repeatedly and times it. And it doesn't take any arguments, so this is a great one to start with. So we can just run elixir r from the command line, and then pass in the name of the file or files we want to compile. In this case, all we want is libystream.ex, and then a dash e for execute, and whatever we want to execute. In this case, it's just a single function. We don't even need to quote it. We can just do y stream dot time to do stream, and that's all it takes. Now let's try a function that takes arguments. So we'll go to this applying module and call the quadruple function, which will quadruple a number. So that'll be elixir dash r lib slash applying dot ex dash e and now we are going to quote it we'll do applying dot quadruple and pass in number five and that actually executed the function but since we didn't print it out and that function is just uh, it's just doing the quadrupling and that's it we need to put an io dot put in front of it and now you can see we get four times five is twenty now, how about if we were using mix? Well, with mix, it's a little bit simpler because mix will take care of compiling everything in the project for us, and we don't have to specify a file or any files. We don't have to specify their directories. It will just take care of it. So we do mix run, and that will load all the file or compile the files and uh, load everything into the beam, and then we can give it a dash E, just like before. And, and actually, it's going to be faster just to edit this line. So we'll just, uh, let's see, delete to the dash twice, and then mix run. And there we go. And we can, of course, call one without any arguments. That's, that's uh, very simple as well. Print cat. And one more thing we can do if it's a mix project is we can pass command line arguments. Now, those arguments don't automatically get passed into a function that you call, but I've made a, a function in tips.ex that will just print out the arguments you pass in through mix, just for an example. So we can do mix run dash e uh, tips, tips.args and then we can just pass in some arguments. So I'll do it first with none, and you can see we have uh, no command line arguments passed in. Uh, thing one, thing two, 97, and Adam, and you can see all of those get passed in, turned into strings. And if you're doing a lot of scripting, one other thing you could try is check out eScript, which is specifically designed for writing scripts in Elixir. I don't do a lot of scripting in Elixir, but uh, you can always check out that video. It's one of the very oldest ones on this channel. See you tomorrow. If you learned something from this Elixir tip, then go to my newsletter, type in your name, your email, and join. I'll send you summaries with links to my newest tutorials, articles, interviews, and projects. Of course, you can unsubscribe at any time.